Excellent work, girls. Keep it up. So, Daniel, who is the other girl that your daughter is sparring against? Oh, that's Tori Nichols. Her story is a little different from Sam's. How so? They used to be enemies. Tori was part of Cobra Kai, and Sam was still here. But, this is so far the closest their relationship with each other has gotten, which is great. I bet. See you, Tori. See you, Sam. Though, to tell you the truth, things have been kinda awkward between the two of them, ever since Tori told Sam that the tournament had been rigged, and Tori saved Sam from being attacked by Kyler. And now, Tori is currently dating Robbie, who happens to be Sam's ex-boyfriend, after they broke up. You know, I could help smooth things over. You sure? You just got here, and are getting to know everyone. And the whole dynamics between both of them, and not Robbie and Miguel, is complicated enough. Well, it would kind of be good to have a neutral third party member help break the ice between the two of them. So Robbie, you enjoying the camping trip? Yeah, it's great, thanks dad. If I didn't forget, you used this as your excuse to get out of school. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You know, I wish Miguel came. I kinda invited him too, but he didn't reply. You know, I also wished Kenny left Cobra Kai. Sean was my last option. And now look what happened. I really can't believe Daniel and you are allowing Cruz and Trey out of all people, to join our dojo. Trust me, it's all Daniel. But, we managed to tame both boys. But, the only way we can beat Cobra Kai for sure is if we maintain a good mentality. And a trip is a good way to do so. Anyways, there's some important news I want to share to you, Robbie. What exactly? Carmen and I are about to have a baby. Wait, I'm sorry, what? We hooked up, and there was some condom confusion. Okay, you don't need to get me into specifics, Johnny. All I just want to know is when did you find out? I found out as soon as Carmen did. She wanted to deliver the news to me as soon as possible. So that's why you two got back together because of the baby. Do you know its gender? No, not yet. But Miguel knows too. Wait, you told Miguel. Yeah. But don't be mad at me. At least I am telling you now. And I was just trying to get him to leave Cobra Kai. You know, I really want both of you to get along. I was hoping that once you guys did, we could go out to this very nice Italian place my mom always took me to as a kid. The breadsticks are tasty. We're trying. But Miguel's still on his stupid agenda to save Cobra Kai on his own. Well, we're gonna try to help him. God damn it. Kree's better start explaining things when he arrives back. Is it true, Sensei Barnes? Is what? True? The fact none of us are going to compete in the Winter Karate League. Who told you that? Is it true? I'm not saying it is. I can't believe it. I actually quit my old Jojo, just because I believe my Sensei didn't hold faith in me. And now it isn't any different here. Good morning, class. You got a lot of explaining to do, old man. Excuse me. Is that any way to address and speak to your sensei? Speak for yourself. A little birdie told me that you aren't letting anyone from this dojo compete. And from what it sounds like, that includes me. It seems as though someone who we trusted with this information purposefully leaked it as an attack on us. Well, other than you. There is only one other person who I have trusted with this information. Alright, class. Today, we will be focusing on something a little different than karate training. Today, we shall be focusing on teamwork. Quick question, Sensei L, aren't we already doing a great job with the whole teamwork thing, after the merging of our two doyos? You are correct, Mitch. However, we still have a few new members to the whole karate feud, and I was thinking it would be a good idea, if everyone got to know each other differently. 
So, Amanda and I will be holding a competition. Sensei LaRusso, may I ask what kind of competition this will be? Amanda? So apparently, Daniel and I happened to discover that a new building with escape rooms had been built over the summer, when out on one of our dates. Oh boy. I'm sorry, is there something you want to say? Nothing. It's just that, I see no point in having to pay to do something not karate related. For the record, Johnny, we already have covered the payment for entry in the escape rooms. But let me guess, you still have a problem. I'm not a huge fan of that kind of shit, but whatever. Let's go in there as a team, and kick some escape room ass. For the record, it will be teams. Teams of three, each. Each team will contain one sensei as captain. For team one, it shall consist of Johnny, Chris, and Cruz. For team two, it shall be Amanda, Robbie, and Raymond. Team three shall be Bobby, Nate, and Mitch. Team four shall be chosen, Bert, and Dimitri. Team five shall consist of me, alongside Hawk and Logan. And the last team shall be Sam, Tori, and Julia's captain. Alright, if anyone doesn't have any questions, then let's get going. I don't want her to close down before we arrive. Next time, could we do bowling? I'll put it to note. But come on, guys, we gotta get going. I trusted you with one goddamn secret, and as soon as I step outside my dojo, everyone finds out. Why? Well in my defense, Sensei Kreese. Master Kreese. You never told me to not say anything. Don't tell me you're too stupid to be obedient to this dojo. I am obedient. But in my defense, Master Kreese, here we are, treating our students as though they are robots. But they're not. They deserve to know. And would eventually happen on your part. True. But I'll address what I have planned in store for them later. But one more question. Is Mr. Diaz coming here? Every day. I'm talking about during school. He can focus on getting a GED after the tournament. Sir, I assure you I have a great schedule planned out for Mr. Diaz. Yes or no? No, sir. Hello, Lyle. Are the six rooms I reserved still available for access? They sure are. A classroom to escape. Typical. Yeah, man, school's a crapshoot. Yeah, well you didn't need to pull Robbie away from that, man. Yeah. Well, you didn't need to pull him away from having a father, man. Just saying. Well, at least I got him back into Whisk Valley. Good for you. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but if we want to win Mr. LaRusso's competition, we have to focus completing all the riddles to get out before all the other teams complete all of their riddles. You must be Chris? Yeah. We've known each other for a while. Mutually, we have. But, I take it you're best friends with penis breath, right? Nah, we're just friends. And don't mind him. He can be a moron at times, but he's on our side. Yeah, well let's just hope you're not as annoying as he is, and will follow all my instructions without acting smarter than me. So this is our room. The White House. It appears so. I wonder what other rooms the other teams are in. Well, we'll make sure to beat them. Uh, guys. I forgot to mention the fact to you that I may be claustrophobic. Alright, everyone. Fall in. Who gives a shit about falling in line? You lied to us. Attention, class. Despite the rumors about me cutting this entire dojo from competing, I want to state that it's not entirely true. There will be representation from my dojo here in Encino. I'm pretty sure he's talking about Miguel as always. Why can't it be me being valued for once? And one other. 
Well? Who is it? That position is open. And I don't care about gender, it has to be someone worthy of national championship. The decision shall be made by the end of September. So in the meantime, I want everyone around here to increase their training exercises. Except for you. Young man. Wait, you're not letting me compete? Actually, it's more than that. In fact, all I see in this dojo is a pretty adequate fighter, who is so blinded by their own self-worth, as to call me a liar. In fact, you're done. Wait, are you serious? Sensei, you need me. You are no longer a Cobra Kai member. Now hang up your gi and scram. We'll do fine without you. Whatever. Guys, enjoy dedicating your life for this set sack. You'll only end up in my position. Is he always this way? Yeah. But I can't believe it led to him being kicked out. Okay. So the first clue is to find the box of the precious. Can anyone find a box for something precious, such as a chest or jewelry box? What about a sarcophagus for the ancient rulers? Oh, good point. Thank you. You're Nathaniel, right? Yeah, name's Nate. And this fellow over here's penis breath. Hey, it's Mitch. Whatever. Just help us open the coffin. Alright, the first clue for us is to decode the paper of freedom. How the hell are we even supposed to decode this paper if we don't know what it is? Let's all brainstorm. You can ask Sam. She probably knows. Sam, do you know? Do either of you see the Declaration of Independence anywhere? Yeah. It's right over there. Alright, according to the clues, we have to find the book with a golden meaning. Tori, is it alright if you look for this book in the bookshelves? I'll take care of the one over there. Alright, I'll take care of the desk. Where should I look if I can't find anything on the bookshelf? Then check again, or wait until I suggest somewhere different. Hey Master Kreez, can I talk to you? Shouldn't you be out training with the others? Look, if this is about the students finding out about the news, please don't blame Mike. Blame me. Did I mention to you I told Mr. Barnes? I knew there was something off with his side of the story. Sensei, I... Sit. That's an order. Mr. Diaz, be honest with me. What are you more concerned about? Beating Keen, or becoming a national champion? I want to become a karate champion, Master. Did Sensei Barnes tell you what I told him? That until he has your father released from prison, you are to stop going to school. Yeah, but no offense, Master Kreese, but why should I have Cobra Kai interfere with my daily life? Well, don't you want to win? I do, but it's gotta be on my own terms. And besides, Keen dropped out of school to spend most of his time ta with Cobra Kai training and he's still lost. Yes, that was because his enemy was his father. And knowing Mr. Lawrence, he'll probably throw that kind of cheap shit against you, and make you hold back. This bonding trick that LaRusso and Mr. Lawrence have used to enable victories in tournaments, we are going to use with you. But make it clear, I'm not going to form any sort of bond with you. But Sensei Barnes will, and so will your father. You just got to remember what you're fighting for, Mr. Diaz, or you could end up in a very similar position as Mr. Park. Is that understood? Yes, Sensei. Good. Because if you don't start coming to the dojo for training, every morning at 8 a.m., even if it's a school day, then you're gonna no longer be part of this dojo. So let me get this straight. You couldn't find anything? Yeah. I even triple checked like you asked. <clears throat> Attention, room number 6. This is Lyle speaking on the intercom to let you all know that time is up. The exit door for the escape room will open on its own. There you guys are. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Yeah, well at least you guys managed to escape. Oh. 
Was it that bad? Sam found a clue, we went along with it, and then we reached a dead end. Okay. But I take it you and Sam are getting along fine? Yeah, we are. It's not like we beat each other up. Okay. If you want to talk about it, I'm available. Mr. Lawrence, I'm sorry we didn't win. Save it. At least we didn't lose to penis breath. And of course Chosen's and Dimitri's team would get first place. Now back to what I was saying. No. We are not putting thugs inside any of our escape rooms to make them karate related. This place is kid friendly. Oh really? Well if this place is kid appropriate, then what explains all of the dicks, carved right onto the desks in that classroom escape room? How is that kid appropriate, unless you want a bunch of 8 year olds jerking off? Yeah, those aren't supposed to be there. You didn't see a thing. I won't say shit, just as long as you return to the negotiating table with me on that coin collection. At a higher price of course. Deal. Hey girls. Just want to say it was an honor teaming up with you, even though everything didn't turn out right. Yeah, I guess. You know, funny thing is, that before we left the room, I saw a book on the table. A book with a golden meaning. I mean, the book was red, and I don't remember the whole title, but yeah, it's somehow connected to the clue. Tori, you were near the table, right? Yeah, did you want me to do something? You realize you could have checked the table, right? Yeah, well you told me to check the bookshelf, until you suggested elsewhere, remember? You could have looked around, at least. Hey, you realize the goddamn shelf was full, right? And you told me to scan through all the book titles. More than once. You know what? I don't have time for this. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. You need something? No, just asking. You want to go somewhere to talk? Like where? A cafe? How about dinner? And it'll be my treat. What do you need in return? What's the catch? Wow you're on the defensive, eh? You remind me a bit of myself. But, the only thing I ask for in return is if you tell me your side of your experiences with Sam. Why? I want to see if I can have things resolved. So, Sensei Dayun? I take it the class listened to me, and gave it their all in class, today? Yes. They bought it. But clearly, I don't know who I can have compete alongside Mr. Diaz in the tournament. I mean, Mr. Park already proved himself disloyal to me. Well, have you thought of Miss Lee, perhaps? Or Mr. Payne? You mean Kenny Payne? The bigger one. Ah, yes. Sean Payne. The one everyone talks about. I may need to see his training. Would you say he's a natural athlete who has gained your interest? Yes. How has Sensei Kreese been treating you? He's a lot, but I can manage. I can't believe he kicked Kyler out. You miss him? No. He's a lot, too. But if there's someone I can't stand, it's LaPustle. The karate champion's son. And he doesn't know that much karate, but he beat you? Look, I don't know what happened, but he needs to pay. How? Well, you're out of juvie, are you not? We're gonna beat the shit out of him. Kenny. You must sound like he really destroyed your life. But I can't. He took my girlfriend. Oh, he did? Yeah. During the Valley Fest, he manipulated Leah, beat me up, and then afterwards, he mocked me by asking, can we be friends? What about the skinny, blue-haired freak? He giving you any trouble? Not recently. So Tori, I noticed that in the escape room, you only contributed when Sam asked you to. What caused you to do that? What do you mean? You checked the bookshelf, and nowhere else. So you're saying I should have done better? Sorry I wasn't good enough of a teammate. You actually were. Too good, actually. When Sam took charge, you are willing to only contribute by following all of her instructions. Like you owed it to her not to make a single mistake. Why? I owe it to Sam, you know. After what happened at the All Valley? More than that. 
after Cobra Kai. I take it Cobra Kai was the first style of karate you knew? No, actually. Kickboxing. Cheap lessons were offered in a shitty warehouse that used to store whiskey. But they were worth it if it meant protecting my brother from being bullied by his classmates. So I take it you took karate to defend your family from anyone hostile? Not really. I stopped after a while. I had to focus my other priorities on making a living wage to cover rent every month and provide food on the table. My mom is sick. She has dialysis. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well life can be a bitch sometimes. And I was angry. And I joined Cobra Kai because I thought it could help channel my anger. And then I got caught up into a web of lies by Kreese and Silver. And Sam, I was a bit rough on her, but she proved my decisions were wrong by supporting me Yagido. The reason why I joined is because I want to become a karate champion. But I want to do it the right way, and not cheat to win. And I feel like every decision I make can lead me down a bad path, I absolutely understand. That's the scary thing about life, you know. It's the great uncertainty, that's ahead of us. Now look, I can't give you an answer that can automatically solve your problem. But I can give you some advice, sure. Go ahead. You may not be able to predict the future, but the best way to save yourself from the wrong path is to surround yourselves with the people you love. And I don't mean, have their priorities weigh on your shoulders, but trusting and connecting with others better. It's something I failed to do. For a while. I lost my parents when I was young. Shit, that sucks. And then, I thought I could develop a strong bond with my grandfather, afterwards. But then I lost him, and afterwards, I met Mr. Miyagi. I heard about him. He taught you and Mr. LaRusso karate, right? Yes. But it was not easy. I was so full of fear, the fact I could lose someone I cared about, that I filled myself up with hate. And I directed it both at him and my grandmother. I shut out everyone from my life, and pretty much ended up in a dark state of mind. Except I did have one friend. Angel, was she a friend you met in school? Yes. But she well, she was a hawk. Now you and me, Tori, we kind of are like hawks. We've always been on edge, and we only attack people who attack us. Hello, you need something? Nah, man. Just following you. Name's Sean. Wait, you're Kenny's brother. I take it he told you about me. Look man, I'm sorry. For all the crap I gave to your brother. Anyone would say shit in order to save their skins. Get back, I don't want to hurt you. Look man, I'm sorry. I get that every punch to Kenny was like a punch to you. But please don't hurt me. My intention was never to beat you up, man. But here's what's gonna happen. That girl of yours, the one that Kenny used to date, you're gonna stop seeing her. Period. You're insane. She's my girlfriend. You know. I don't want to go home with a conscience of hurting you. But you're all my brother has got on his mind. And if he's pissed and upset, so am I. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll end things. Please let me go. Now beat it. Oh, 
Tori, you're here. Sam, the reason why I called you here was because I was thinking Tori and you have a little talk to resolve things from yesterday. You talked to her? Look, what happened in the escape room yesterday was my fault? Okay. Look, I thought I could manage well, but you two know each other longer than I know both of you. But, Tori is willing to talk as long you as you agree to listen to her. And then you can talk. And I'll do a better job at mediating. How? Well, I'm going to step in only to draw lines. I mean, there's no way in hell I'm going out allow either of you to beat each other up inside this coffee shop. Alright, I'll listen. I'll sit here to watch. So Sam, back to the reason why I only chose to listen to your specific instructions, is because I didn't have the courage to make my own decisions. Scared of making another mistake. As you know, I joined Kree's and Cobra Kai, and I went along with the cheating, and lies, and the dirty fighting. I was scared of accepting the downsides to my actions, and only looked at the upsides. But after going along with Silver's lie, and then getting rejected by Kreese, I couldn't trust myself anymore. And I mean, you proved me wrong. You kicked my ass in the tournament the other day. And I feel like I owe you. Because you taught me an important lesson. You know, Tori, I feel like I owe you as well. Wait. How? One of the only reasons I became such a badass fighter was because I used offense. Your style of karate. I never taught you any. True, but Johnny did. I mean, he introduced you to Cobra Kai Karate, and you stayed in that dojo as a sign of protest. That offense was necessary. And look, I admit I never wanted to become like you, but now I understand why you've been so aggressive your whole life. Because you've maintained self-respect, when it felt like the whole world was after you, Look, I get it. The fact we refused to combine both philosophies is what made us assholes. But now we've both learned from one another, and changed. Now we both know offense and defense, and we listen to others around us, rather than just each ourselves. And I'm sorry if I made you feel like you owed me, but you deserve to stand your ground, and not pretend to be someone else, just as long as you don't view things only in a positive or negative way. Thanks. Don't worry, you'll show Chris he's wrong, because if there is anyone who hasn't learned, it's him. There is something else I forgot to mention. What? There is this girl. Devon Lee. Says I inspired her when she joined Cobra Kai. Now she's mad I left, and she's willing to go through the shit I went through. Just like what happened with Kenny and Robbie. Is there any way I could help? No. It's not like I don't want you to help. It's just that I don't really have a plan. Well, maybe Johnny can help. I mean, he recruited her to Eagle Fang, and he's known her way better than I have. I hope he will agree to help. 